A very warm welcome back. You are still on to the BD show and we're receiving Carrie Jackson. Carrie has had time to share a lot of interesting things with us as I indicated already. And this time he hinted already on his creation of uh, Serodef, that's a sustainable run for development, which by every standard in this period of existence has been doing an amazing job. I think I know already about their mushroom project, uh, which is helping some people already in the alleviation of poverty. And I think that away from that and other things they've been doing, they are uh, contributing in more ways than one to improve on our environment. Once again, uh, Kari, we're happy to have you. And so just, just very quickly, your activities, as I mentioned of the fact that of the, of the mushroom activity, can you already tell us something about the achievements of Solo Dev this far? Yes, so far so good. Like you said, Surudel's creation, eminent existence since 2007, mm. has created uh, numerous milestones which are worthy to talk about. Since inception to date, I told you we planted several trees with several uh, dwellers, not only of adjacent forest dwellers, but those who are in need to improve either on the agricultural systems. I told you about our agroforestry project, mm -hmm. which integrates trees, you know, uh, and uh, crops, so that the farmer is able to improve on the soil health and even integrate uh, other activities like apiculture. Yeah. I mean, beekeeping, integrate, uh, you know, pisciculture. I mean, some small fish ponds and orchards too, so that each time, whether within the season or without a season, you're able to come back from the farm with with something, mm. and this keep uh, keeps some cash. It makes cash to flow for this subsistent uh, farmer. So far, Very so good. We course. trained up to more than 500 uh, women from from about 23 farming groups, which we created. Mm. And uh, through this, we have created trees that are not only uh, ornamentals, but trees that do not only produce fruits, but those two that are timber species that you can use. Remember, when I talk about timber, you think of the eucalyptus. Mm. No, we are trying to let users of eucalyptus and farmers integrate uh, timber species like Grevillea robusta that are able to lend themselves to, to the growth of other vegetation. I tell you that in a, in a eucalyptus forest, nothing can grow there. You cannot harvest maize from that forest. You cannot <laughs> harvest plantain. A pear tree cannot do well under the, the eucalyptus. So these are some of the uh, those unsustainable uh, exotic species that were used which we're trying to reverse like I told you mm. through this we've reached up to 500 of those users of uh, uh, I mean the, for the, the forest users and farmers across the highlands reaching to more than 2,500 of such people yes and you ask a question of how do we sustain this mm. how is mm. our monitoring being done how is the evaluation done to us at our level giving the resources that we harness to build this, I think there is positive good. We cannot say that it's lost. Yeah. And we keep the spirit moving as we we depend, you know, not only on the resources like from the mushroom farm, the poultry farms, the bowl demonstration farms that we have. The income is too minimal to take care even of volunteers and our staff. So we always want support. It's always welcome at any time for mm. us to sustain these activities follow up, you know, like when we have, when we plant trees, we create a nursery. When this nursery is gone dry or when it is exhausted of the species that were supposed to be planted, they need to be replenished so that they are used in, in planting. If we were planting in the course of enriching the forest, like we have affected, we've already planted up to 30 hectares of, of forest in the Jising and in the, in the Congo forest, one of our project hops. Through this, we plant species like Jansa, we plant species like bush mango. Who told you that that doesn't grow up here in the highlands? It's <laughs> growing here. We nest the species and we share and we plant with farmers. Mm -hmm. Which farmer wouldn't like to harvest bush mango? Which farmer would like to harvest Jansa from his own farm? You should know if you're a cook like me, how much a glass of that spice, which is used in taking of our soups, how much it costs. Imagine you harvesting to not only consuming, not only sharing to your family, sell too. not only selling and generating income and mm -hmm. giving children, you know, good education. 
We equally through our project, we've reached several species like sensitization is first thing we do. We've reached millions and millions of people. Like what, even what we are doing now, we, mm -hmm. through our community programs of for reforestation and conservation of wildlife, even research, we carry our radio programs where we broadcast, you know, even in the mother tongue, depending on which community we are, we, we, we are training. Okay. We, 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 we teach information on daily basis. It's broadcast over community radios on how these uh, communities can identify wildlife. So we reinforce the laws that are governing this too, so that they can feel that if you punish due to this, is your duty, is mm. your role to carry out this. Come to talk of alternative income generation activities is primordial for forest users. Yeah. Like I told you, I started the story of my grandmother who was farming near the Jason Tabikin forest for decades. When I visit her, I go to the farm, I say, for how long you see how it has changed? If you're farming, you know, it's not like in dense forest area where you must farm this year, you turn the ridges again and, and so on. Through this, we, we give uh, the, the, the women particularly alternative sources of income. Mm -hmm. We've taught them how to, to, to cultivate uh, cabbages, uh, or berry, uh, okra. I mean, most climate smart crops that generate income very quickly. Yeah. So that when they have us, even the dry season cultivation we introduce in the Congo, in the Baiso, in the Bonkisu area, and it, it is doing well and they are resilient uh, to, to, to poverty. Any, 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 any areas already? I mean, any success stories already? Very, very, very many. People, okay, talk, come to talk of the agroforestry, through agroforestry species alone. We don't count that as trees planted. We've planted several millions, more than 10 million of those trees. Mm -hmm. Because we do direct seed bed sowing, and farmers are distributed from that particular bed. Okay. Which means it's, least co it's cost effective because bulletins are not needed. Remember, we do <laughs> hate uh, plastics. And it's time consuming for us to do biodegradable packaging for for the for the pots. Yeah. To pot the the species. Mm -hmm. They have already started harvesting the pears that we we, we shed to them, the fruits, all the yeah. fruits that were distributed, the plums. Uh, a lot. Then the trees are cast here, that takes just two years and you start ripping the fruits. They can now chop their the green fertilizer, have you heard of that? They harvest their trees and they chop them mm -hmm. and either you give it to your ruminants, we're talking about here the goat, yeah, the yeah. sheep, the pigs and so on, or when you don't harvest things from your farm, you, you, you harvest it as fuel wood by the leaves, you put them in a the furrow and you mulch, they get rotten and then you mulch. While you plant, you can plant your, your legumes, your your cowpea, mm -hmm. your beans during that season, during the uh, while waiting for your contemporary means uh, to be planted, this helps in enriching the soil. Mm -hmm. While doing so, he is carrying fuel wood to the to the house. They don't lack fuel wood. And tell me that if on your farm, they mostly they have a quarter hectare of plots where cultivation is being done. When this is is done, the wood is served. The children carry it and pile it. Yeah. They don't have time again to go into the forest to burn it, to fell a tree that will put down five of them, which will not be replanted, or which we replant, and at the end of the day, it's, it, it destroys the, 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 the seedlings that are just planted, yeah. so they don't get much. So this is a strategy, a win-win strategy for biodiversity, income generation, mm. and so on for, 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 for these uh, farmers and forest dwellers. Similarly, we have trained and supported the main farmers, the main hunters. We've, we've redesigned them and converted these hunters into forest guards. And in the calm room, I bet you they are already there generating income from, have from, from, from their beehives. Yeah. They sell, they harvest their honey and they sell. Meanwhile, they are guarding the the forest, the forest and identifying which trees have survived after the planting. They volunteer to take care of the gardens mm -hmm. which from where planted trees are supposed to be replaced. This story is similar as we're doing a mapping of part of the April forest for the project and mushroom too is an alternative which we're introducing there yeah. for forest dependent people to, 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 to get involved in just like in the Pem and Jim National Park. 
and so on and so forth. The feedback, especially from the common forest system, we have the cooperative that we created for these farmers that we've supported. They are yearning for more support to improve because they are not only doing it subsistently, but they are doing it like resilient farmers who mean business and, and want to become green entrepreneurs. Green entrepreneurs. Well, what an interesting story. I mean, full of impact. Uh, if you hear me listening, it's because I want you also to take off time to listen. And you know how much effort our people are making on the ground to improve the lives of others. This is exactly what the BD Show intends to build. It's not all about you. It's not only about your immediate family. It's about how well you can assist others also earn a living and get a better life. We're not going away yet. When we return from this, it will be time for my take.